Hey everyone, Dylan O'Neill here, and I wanted to hop on and talk about a trick on Thinkorswim that can help you maximize your screen space. So whether you have 18 monitors or just limited to one, you can utilize this trick, okay? Obviously it helps, or I should say it's, it's most helpful for those who are limited to screen space that are trading on you know one laptop or one monitor, but anyone else can use this as well. So uh, this trick is combining both charts and flexible grid together. So as you can see here, my main screen has six different stock charts on it. We have Apple, AMD, Roku, so on and so forth. Each chart consists of the same time frame, five minutes. So each one of these charts is five minute charts. That's usually what I look at. I look at five and 15 minute charts. So rather than being limited to six charts, I can click over here to flexible grid and see six additional stock charts. Okay, as you can see, if I flip back and forth from charts to flexible grid, you see six different charts on each. Okay, so my personal watch list is about 15 stocks, give or take. So that being said, I can have 12 different stocks on this one monitor between the two grids, um, as well as, you know, put the other three that I may not be looking at on that given day on my other monitor. So I'm fortunate enough to have four monitors, but I still utilize this trick. So on another monitor that you guys do not see, I have my indexes. I have ES futures, NQ futures, uh, YM futures, which is the Dow. I have SPY, QQQ. Uh, I have the VIX on there, and I have the three additional uh, charts that I do not include on this main monitor. Okay, so that that's what works for me. If you guys are overwhelmed with a three by two grid, um, you can pick another layout. So as you can see here, this is how you do it. So on the chart tab, you go up to these boxes up here, click on that, and you can choose how many you, you want. Do you only want two? Do you want three going across? You want four going across? You want two rows? Of four this would be eight charts this would be ten charts you know so on and so forth it, it even lets you go up to uh, what is this one two three four five six seven eight by th by four so you could have up to 32 charts um, on this layout like I said six charts for me work very well because it's not too overwhelming and like I said say I want to look at Amazon, right? You don't see Amazon on this main chart screen. All I have to do is click flexible grid and voila, Amazon's right down here. Same idea. Say I'm looking at this one and I want to look at Nvidia. All I have to do is click that, voila, Nvidia is right here. So rather than me only utilizing one out of the two, um, I can use both, okay? So um, if you don't use both, you have to manually type in a stock that, you know, isn't showing up. So um, if I wanted to see Amazon in this example, I would have to manually type in Amazon, which, you know, it does. It, it's not the worst thing in the world, but using both um, helps tremendously. Another thing you could do if you have a smaller watch list, say your only your your watch list only consists of six stocks, where you know you might say, Dylan, you know I only look at six stocks, so I don't need that extra grid. Um, what you could also do is have the six stocks on the chart tab um, for one time frame. Say you use five minutes. This chart tab can only um, you know, you could only put five minute charts on here. Whereas if you go to the flexible grid, you could have 15 minute charts or one hour charts, 30 minute, the list goes on and on. So that's another thing that I've seen traders do on Thinkorswim. They utilize both charts and flexible grid and they use different time frames for each, which is like I said, very smart. It's all preference. It's whatever works for you.
So there's no correct way to do this. I'm just showing you guys that you can utilize both to optimize screen space. Okay, the way you do it on flexible grid is you go over here to this uh, tic-tac-toe looking thing. You click that and then you press customize grid. Once you have this, all you have to do is uh, is click on these things. So if you click on this one right here, it'll add a, a stock chart below. If you click on this one here, it'll add a stock chart to the right. And if you click on this one here, it'll just get rid of this stock chart. So like I said, all you do is click customize grid. You can add your charts to however you want your layout to be. And then once you're satisfied, once you're done, all you do is click back on customize grid and it'll save like that. Okay, so like I said, I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys that you can uh, capitalize on this thinkorswim layout trick. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.